This is the life of Tyler Lanahan, a patient suffering from dissociative identity disorder. When Tyler was a mere child of six years old, his parents were brutally murdered right in front of him. Get on the floor! Today, Tyler is an 18-year-old college student at Wake Tech Community College. He attends classes like a normal student, but suffers from erratic alterations in his personality. Tyler often changes from a scholarly young adult to a remorseless and self-assured thug who is named Tyrone. He has occurring memory lapses and is never aware of this change in personality. Take a look at a normal day at college where Tyler is not yet overtaken by the disorder. Hey Tyler, why don't you ever talk about your parents? Yeah, why not? I don't want to talk about it. When his classmates mention his dead parents, Tyler's second personality is triggered and he assumes the role as Tyrone. Who is this white dude looking at me in the mirror though? Like, I don't even know this kid. Hi, what's up, Donald? Can I get some fudge? What kind of butter would you like? Give me some of that peanut butter. Make it snappy too. How much is this going to cost? It's fifteen ninety-five per pound. Uh. After waking up from a snap, Tyler has no memory of what had occurred earlier. What is this? I've never had fudge before in my life. Sure? What? Tyler's changes in personality often confuses the ones closest to him. Hey, do you know this guy? He was at a party the other night. He's fought like half the party. No, that's Tyler. He, and he was probably home studying last night. That's Tyrone. He drives a range. He no, that's Tyler. He wears berries. Um, no, he was the craziest person at the party. He fought like eight people. He doesn't talk to me. What are you talking about? He stole the keg. Yo, so Halo last night, Halo was awesome. Yeah, live prime, dude. God's going Hey, bye, love you, mom. Still struggling to cope with his parents' death, Tyler's disorder is triggered when a passerby mentions his mother on the phone. Oh, yo, what you trying to say, bro? Dude, why are you talking like that, Tyler? My name's Tyrone, not Tyler. Dude, you need to get some help. Nah, don't. Shut up. Once Tyler begins to cool down and resumes his normal identity, he decides to listen to his friend's advice and go to therapy. Tyler? Yeah. Alright, follow me. Okay. some soccer with my friends in the park, and then after that, I really don't remember what happened. Hmm. Have these memory lapses occurred before? Yeah, they have happened. I don't know, it's, it's pretty confusing. Actually, the other day I woke up with some Killen's fudge next to my bed. It was half eaten, but I've never been to Killen's before. <laughs> so you don't remember purchasing it at all? Nope, don't remember it at all. Do you feel sometimes that there's, there's more than one person or possibly more people living in your head? Um, sometimes I do, but I don't know, it's just kind of a weird, weird feeling. I just don't know how to describe it. Do you know who Tyrone is? No, who's Tyrone? According to your friend, it's the name you go by sometimes. I have no clue what you're talking about, actually. Hmm, tell me about your childhood. Well, I don't really like to talk about it, but when I was six years old, my parents got shot in front of me. It's really sad. That is very sad. I'm really sorry about that. Do you ever feel anxious yes. or depressed? If so, uh, how often? Sometimes, every, every once in a week, I feel pretty depressed. And sometimes when I get really depressed or really anxious, I, I don't remember what happens next. 
All right, thank you for sharing with me. I'll be right back. Tyler, you have a personality disorder called dissociative identity disorder. It is characterized as having multiple personalities in which you alternate between when you're under stress. So the different identities have distinct contrasting characteristics and they sometimes have unique names for the different ones. In your case, you have two distinct personalities, the normal polite gentleman you are now and Tyrone, which according to your friend's description is disrespectful and rude. You also have dissociative amnesia where you don't remember what happens when you alternate personalities. There's really no proven cause to this disorder, but it is possible that it came from your childhood trauma. Witnessing the murder of your parents' death caused you to want to repress those memories and therefore you dissociate yourself. Unfortunately, there's no cure for this disorder, but it can be treated through extensive psychotherapy. With a lot of commitment, long-term treatment can be successful. We will meet on a regular basis and our goal is to integrate both your personalities and unite them into one or find a peaceful coexistence between both of them. I will help you be more comfortable with your past and teach you coping methods for the memory lapses you will have during dissociation. Tyler regularly begins taking Xanax prescribed by his therapist, which is an anti-anxiety drug to suppress the thoughts that triggers his disorder. Tyler follows the recommendations of his therapist and continues going to therapy weekly. Hi, Stephen. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm good. Have a seat. Okay. So we're going to try a technique today called cognitive therapy. So let's talk about your traumatic memory. Well, when I was a kid, my parents got killed by a robber, and I think it's all my fault. It's really not your fault because that's not something that's in your control. So for now on, every week we're gonna work on making sure you believe that it's not your fault because it's definitely not in your control. So also next week we're gonna try a new thing called exposure therapy. All right, sounds good. All right, see you next week. Cognitive therapy helps the patient overcome his problems by changing dysfunctional thinking and behavior. In Tyler's case, understanding that his parents' death was unpreventable helps to reduce some of his anxiety. All right, we're gonna try exposure therapy now. How do you feel about this picture? And that, this one? That frightens me. All right, what about this one? I don't like that picture. And this one? I don't like that one either. All right, well, every week, we're, I'm gonna show you these pictures and hopefully you'll become more comfortable and less anxious. All right. Through the use of different psychotherapies and medication to reduce his anxiety, Tyler has returned to a normal routine. Though he's not completely cured, his shift in personality to Tyrone has reduced drastically. He has also reduced his dissociative amnesia and is no longer afraid of his previous triggers, such as the mentioning of his parents and guns. Help you um, cope uh, with your memory lapse. <laughs> <laughs> next to my bed. It was half eating, but I've never been to college before. So you don't remember purchasing it at all? Nope, don't remember it at all. Do you feel that sometimes there are more than one people, person living in the <laughs> Tyler, it's Tyrone. Dude, you need to get some, go to therapy. Yo, shut up, man. 